there, Leo. How are you guys doing? This is your reading, Leo. Okay. So, Leo, I'm just going to clear the energy really quickly. Okay. So, Leo, let's see um, what spirit has for you guys here with this solar eclipse happening tomorrow okay so i want to see what this what this solar eclipse is bringing for you what spirit wants you to know regarding this i have lit three candles on my altar one being yellow one being black and one being white those are the colors that i use for a solar eclipse um that was the colors that I used for a solar eclipse. And I have written down what it is that I am attracting and thanking the universe for with this solar eclipse. So if you feel compelled to, you can do the same. Um, I saw somebody... I saw somebody digging like in the ground and it's like they found buried treasure something to do with a pirate so that might mean something to you maybe that's something that you were watching or something that you were talking about with somebody but that is a message that is here for you also like picking a flower petal Somebody picking a flower petal and yeah. Okay, let's see, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. I'm gonna get a couple more cards and then I'm gonna turn them over and see what we have here. And of course it flies. Okay, so the first card you got from the angels is compromise. Who wants to hear that, right? But let's see what else this is about, right? Okay, you have the servant here and the Lord and conversation. There's something here with somebody where somebody wants to have a conversation with you somebody wants to have a compromise with you somebody wants to like you know it feels like they're wanting to apologize really and are you compromising by even speaking to this person and then you have this amber card with the mosquito um stuck in it let me see what card fell okay i'm gonna scoot it towards me yes okay so there's something here that has been preserved. I don't know anything about how this happens. I'm think I think it's like like I want to say maple syrup, but that's not it. It's tree sap, and it like goes around a bug, and then it gets really cold. And it becomes amber. I don't know if that's right. But it's definitely like, you know, something. This is preserved. And it's like gooey. And then it dries. And now it's like hard. And the bug is stuck in there forever. So. There's something here that you held on to. And it's coming up again. It's coming up for an, an opportunity for you to resolve it with you and a person here. This compromise card, I'm really getting. Somebody wants to come in and apologize. You know, they're holding out the scales here on this card if you look closely. So that represents balance, right? That represents Libra season, okay? The season we're in right now. 
And then she is also, she's holding a tray, which requires balance on this card. So someone, and the servant is coming towards someone to serve them like coffee or tea, which could be something that someone does to apologize. You owe somebody something, you know? This is reminding me of, I always did that with my brother when we were younger. It was like, you know, whoever wins this game, then the other person has to do what the other person says for a whole day. So you would be like, okay, go, you know, pour me some pop and bring it to me. <laughs> Change the channel on the TV, like the most ridiculous things, right? So I feel like there that could be a message for some of you, but somebody wants to come in and they want to be balanced here. They have balanced themselves, okay? And they're in alignment, right? Because this is an angel and look at all the light around her. So she has balanced her inner and then look, I didn't even see this. Okay, yeah, these are her hands are up here holding this, which I feel like is more difficult than being down here. Yes, even doing this for a second. Wow, I'm out of shape. <laughs> so this someone really wants to show you, hey, I really got my balance here big time. They, you probably have not heard from this person. It didn't end in a way that you maybe were wanting for it to go. You know, at least you didn't want it to go that way when it started, right? But they pulled away and they learned these lessons. And now they want to show, there's, this is like action to show you. They want to come forth and show you. This isn't somebody saying, I'll do anything for you. This is somebody in the act of actually doing it. You know, so this action speak louder than words. And this is the message. This is the message that I heard when I was waking up, waking up today was someone that you're in a relationship with or you want to have, you want it to lead to some sort of a romantic connection with a person. They speak to you and reveal to you who they are from the very beginning but with their actions, not with their words. What are they doing? You have to step, like pause. Somebody pause, step back, look at the bigger picture here. Whoa, I can't go out today. I can't do this today. I'm thinking about this. I'm looking at this over. Somebody is going to cancel. You. I feel like some of you are going to feel like you need to cancel plans. And you just need to think this through versus before. Maybe you just would have went for it or you would have like talked about it. You have this conversation card here. You would have talked with friends about it. And it's like, what do you guys think? What did this person think? And then it's kind of like that's whatever they say is stuck within you. And then you're frozen and you can't really move. And it's like, no, I want to make a decision here. And this Lord card is much like the Emperor card. So this person coming towards you, they're established. They want to show you with their with their actions, um, you know, in their energy. Okay, they have things to offer you. And there's also a conversation here they want to have. And it feels like, you know, this could be their feelings for you. Never changed, never went away. I'm going to clarify. But first we have acquisition. Someone wants to come see about you. And look at how uh, much this guy looks like this guy. Whoa. They look the same. Bam. Bam. Somebody uh, is, is seeing you and they're wanting to be seen with you. <laughs> they're wanting to be seen with you again. You have independence and excitement. So I feel like you're excited on your own. You're good on your own. You have something to be excited for on your own here that's separate from this. And this is just another great thing. I don't know if, I don't know how you feel about this. I don't know. Oh, another card turned over in the stack domination. I don't know how you feel about this person trying to come back in. They're trying to take advantage because now they want to be seen with you when you have this independence, this excitement, and this harmony. 
this escape. Now they want to escape off with you. Oh, now, now that's a good time for you. You know, concentration. This is like focus on, oh, the card is gone. But the way their mouth, it was like a huge mouth and it was being like covered or something was sitting in the way of it. So it was like, not what somebody is saying. What are they doing? This this feels like yeah. I don't think you're about this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one more card and then I'm gonna get tarot. Convention. It's a little bit of like this is what you should do. And this person is used to impulsiveness. They're used to being able to pull you in with that impulsiveness. They really are. Um, Jurassic Park may mean something to you. I don't know. I'm like getting pictures of... Um, it's like these are the ways that things have always been done here. There is a way that things have always been done. And it's like, I don't think this is right. And you know, when you're, when, okay. There's something here that it's like, follow your gut. They're inside the Jeep in Jurassic Park. And if they didn't get out, they would have been fine. None of that crap would have happened. And it feels like there's something in your gut telling you, I don't, I don't like this. I don't want to trust this person. And there's not a reason why. And maybe this is something that I at one time wanted and gave a ton of crap to. And now they're doing everything that I want for them to do and beyond. But I'm not only good on my own, I'm great. Great on your own. Look at this Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. And you have a lot of things coming in for you. Look at this 3-3 three, three energy. I just saw 12-22 on the clock. There's things happening here for you. Look at this. And you're kind of like, I don't, uh, I don't need this. What do I need this for? I have everything already. I want to put these cards back. Um, these are just pulled. It's like convention. It's kind of like, it's giving me these vibes of somebody that wants you this is the scenario I'm seeing in my head. Let's say somebody gets pregnant, but their but their husband is, I don't know, crazy abusive or blah, 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 right? And their mother is like telling them, stay for the baby. That's what you should do. That's convention. That's what you're supposed to do. Just let this person dominate over you and show you off when they want to. That's okay. What? No. No. And it's kind of like every fiber in your whole being is like, no. There's like, you know, okay, you want to come serve me now? Um, I don't need you. I don't need you to do that. Emperor. Ten of Pentacles. You're not only good on your own. You're great on your own. And it's like, as you escape away from this, your your own greatness is only amplifying, only amplifying going forward. Wow. This is a like significant financial increase for you. The Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles coming out together. And look at this excitement card. And he looks just like this emperor. They look the same, y'all. This person is trying to come in from your past. Because look at how this looks a little bit. This guy looks a little younger. This guy looks a little bit younger. So yeah, when you were younger, yeah, you were allowed. You, you let yourself be roped into this crap. But not anymore. Not anymore at all. 
You have something excited. This looks beautiful for you. Yeah, you have the Six of Wands, the Ace of Swords. You know, you have your truth here. And look at this, King of Pentacles in reverse. I don't need to follow the rules. I don't know, need to do what everybody else is doing. I don't need to stay with this person just because I've been with them for X amount of time or whatever other reason that it is. Or for a child or anything like that. Because when you do that, you're not really doing that child a service. You're not. You know, when you're not 100%, when you're not joy within your very being, right? And you're faking it. That child feels it. They know it. The fighting going on, the mistreatment that you are accepting, that child then learns, oh, it's okay to accept mistreatment. That's all there is out there in the world. And that's why they attract them the very same thing. And you know this. And other people, you know, don't see this they don't really understand that but you know other people are not you this is your life that you have to live with your own mind and to live it your very own way yeah look at this toxicity and the hierophant someone wants you to stay in a toxic situation the person doing it wants you to stay and there's other people outside people for a lot of you it has to do with a mother I don't know if it's their mother, your mother, someone that's a mother figure. doesn't have to be at all. But there are other people that are trying to encourage this, like, unhealthy crap. It's kind of like somebody, they're, like, showing me an image now of, like, a mom who's, like, feeding their kid so much junk food. And their kid is, like, severely unhealthy. And you can physically see because they just let the kid and they're trying to convince you to do the same or something like that. Well, it's like, what a messed up situation. There is no way you are moving away from anything that has to do with this kind of thing. You don't want it. You don't want it and you don't deserve it. Yeah, look at this. You have somebody new coming in for you. This old person could be an earth sign, okay? You have Taurus and you have Capricorn here. They could also be a Virgo. They don't have to be at all. Um, but I feel like you have somebody new coming in and you know you have better things on the horizon. And just how much you have healed yourself since you have been out on your own. Look at that. Healing yourself. That's literally what that means. With the Fool and the Strength card. You are the Strength card. And the Fool is someone who's like out on their own journey. You know, going out and uh, exploring the sweetness of life. That's what that white rose represents. What does that mean for you? You're going out on a new adventure here. And you know you're going to find and attract people who are loyal to you. That's what this white dog represents. People pure of heart and that have loyalty to you and you know this because of this strength card you have learned how to manage within you so you have made yourself in a way that you know there is nothing you can't handle that you believe in yourself that you know that you're worthy that you feel joy bliss and love when you look out into this world and so the world is a reflection back of what's going on within you before you were in a toxic place Okay, this could be because of childhood, because of things that happened uh, that you witnessed when you were younger. And it is what it is, you know, you didn't know any better. And so you stayed in this and you allowed yourself to be dominated in this toxic environment. And now that you pulled yourself away from it, you're so good. There is not a chance, not a chance that you're going back to anything else. You are manifesting now from this beautiful place new opportunities to be coming towards you. You're not letting the past hinder you anymore. Hangman, enlightenment. So this is all changing. Somebody who can come in with the offer of real love. I mean, somebody wants, wants to try to get you to go back. And there's no way you're going forward. Look at this star, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. 
moving forward towards your dreams here. That's, you know, that's what you deserve at this time. It's, there's no going back to who you used to be now. There isn't. I feel like some of you are going to get really, really successful news around the time you hear of somebody really toxic from your past. Somebody really toxic from your past tries to come back in. Or another person mimics this kind of behavior. Right? And the universe is saying, you know, don't accept this. And how are you going to know? You're not going to know by the words that they say. You're going to know by their actions. What are their actions? Their actions are telling you who they are, right? And this is how you know. So some of you, there is one more person coming in trying to pull this crap. Or somebody from the past is coming back to try to and maybe they have changed. Maybe they have. Good for you. But you're not about it. You're not about it anymore. You don't deserve to be. Desert passage. There's a divine plan. There's a divine plan. You're divinely guided at this time. Protected. I just said you're divinely guided at this time. Protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. Angels don't want this person to come back to you. So it's just for some of you, they may not actually make it even to come speak to you or anything like that. You may just feel more memories coming on of the past, right? For you to clear. For some of you, they're actually going to come back. And that's not for you to judge where you're at with what actually happens, right? It's just uh, you're at where you're at. You know what I mean? So some of you, this person is going to come show up. For some of you, they can't even get you near you. And it's just the memory. That you're, that last bit that you're clearing. Energetically letting go of. Cord cutting, right? Okay. Uh, somebody else trying to come in with the same crap, but you pick up on it right away. And this feels like a fast occurrence. It's not like prolonged. First light, beginning a new cycle. Yeah. You're moving forward into a new phase here. And they, they don't, they, they really just don't have a place there. They can't, they can't do it. All right. Cards went everywhere. Hooray. Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Beautiful. Okay, I want to see about the new person coming in. What about this new person? Or what about this new... Okay, we'll see. New person, new opportunity. You have the mirror. Well, that fell on the floor really quick. Uh, mirroring you could be a person mirroring you at this time. They also are going through something like this, or they recently have. You have the underworld and the thread. Some of you have to cut a cord. That's what this is about. Some of you are still energetically attached to a person here. So if there's a way that you are connected to this person in any way, spirit is saying, yeah, it's time for you to let go of that now. There's something here toxic that's still trying to creep in a little bit. And spirit wants you to get rid of that because you don't deserve that anymore. The temple and the offering, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so this is something that you can do. This is something that you can heal here yourself. This is something that spirit is going to help you with. There's something that you're praying for that's coming. It's like the hands are praying here and then somebody is offering something here. I feel like that's this new person coming in now. This is something that you have prayed for with this new person. The poet.
this is mirroring this is um the threshold here there is something happening here you have the bridge this is two people coming together here coming from similar circumstances you may have lived where this person has lived and you it's like somebody you live close to each other or you used to live somewhere and they used to live somewhere there's something about where you live you're gonna live close to each other you're gonna reach out someone's gonna reach out from further away i feel like somebody might try when, when you're cutting this core when you're trying when you're moving on with this new person with this new offer there might be somebody that tries to come back in to mess this up they're gonna have crap to say about you and they're gonna try to come back in you have the hunter card here the animal card here so they're gonna try to not it's like this person doesn't want to give up this other person that you're trying to let go of they're all up in your reading the father for some of you they could be um the father of your child or um they could remind you like have qualities of your father you have the one card here you thought that this person was the one at the time you thought that you were going to marry them and you were going to have children with them the whole thing but you so slowly realized how corrupt everything was but in that corruption you gained so much enlightenment you learned so much about yourself so it was necessary for that to happen so spirit wants you to see it in that light that's what this is about yep everything in love you have to let go of it in love you have to let go of it in love and i'm going to tell you how to do that if you don't know because look the mystic and the vision so this was a really messed up situation and this was really like everybody there was encouraging you to stay with this person and it was like so unhealthy for you i'm getting like this image of like something that's slowly poisonous and everyone's like yeah yeah but eat it you're hungry eat it you should eat it yeah everybody else is eating it eat it it's like but this is poison this is gonna kill me and they're like pushing you to do it. It was a very toxic environment. This is horrible. And you, you know, you didn't know what else to do. You didn't really step outside of yourself and think about what was happening for you. You just kind of went with it and kept trying to fix things. And nothing was ever fixable. And the more you tried, the worse it got. And this is really devastating. This was something really, really difficult for you, really, really difficult for your soul to overcome this. Some of you had really horrible things happen to you. So for you to walk away from this person was a lot, was a lot. And you didn't know where you were gonna go. You had no one to turn to. This is like, sleeping in my car what am I gonna do I'm scared you know and in those times you don't realize but there's something that you turn to the mystic and vision you turn within yourself and you found this strength within yourself and you learned about the world and the the planet and the trees and the animals and the oceans and the you know our connection to everything your own spirituality opened up because of it and this is very important because i feel like in a past life a lot of you were a mystic or a shaman or something along these lines a seer with this vision card and you are are you're having to let go of something with love that's the that's the test that's the thing here it's not screw you don't ever contact me again you know talking you know crap about them however true it might be 
there is a way where you're standing up for yourself, but you're not putting anyone else down either. You know? Done. Cutting the cord. Only looking for love going forward. Only feeling the love within yourself. And these other memories that are not loving, when they come into your mind, you can say, no, this is just my mind pulling back these memories again, and I don't need them here. And that's what you're doing here. So now love is coming in for you. And I feel like this is something here. You have the lover card. You know, you have the mask and then the castle, the medallion. Okay, the mentor. Here we go. So this is somebody who this is really feeling like you didn't really see them all along with this mask card. This could be somebody that you already know and you didn't have these feelings toward this person in this way. So you need to tell the story differently. If you talk about all of your detriment, you're going to attract more detriment, right? So you need to talk about how strong you are, how resilient you are, how empowered you are. You need to talk about all the knowledge that you have gained, about how happy you are, about where you are right now, what is beauty, what is happiness, what is joy in this moment right now. This is going to get you back with the flow of life here. And it's not going to take much uh, because some of you, this is just reassurance. You already figured out this whole thing on your own and did it. And this is just a reassurance of, yeah, you're right. You have the king here. The king has returned. There is something that you're back. You are back. And you're back in a way, meaning you're your full self now for like the first time in this lifetime. And I feel like portions of yourself were being held back for you to learn these lessons that you learned. You know what I mean? It's like you didn't have access to these gifts that you had, that you have that are you. And now you do have access to them because you learned the lessons. So now you can have access to this. So I feel like for a lot of you, your communication, like your downloads, your dreams, your visions, your whatever is going to be enlightened. It's going to be more. It's going to be higher. You have warrior here. So now, you know, you have done this battle now, and now there is a way that you're helping the other people of this planet to do the same. And the Bardo, of course, I was waiting for this card. This is the message of what I'm trying to say. It's like there is a strength, an immense strength and power in something that is fragile and delicate and beautiful and feminine. That can be a strength, that can be the most resilient thing in the world. There's a way to use that. Love is the most powerful weapon in the world. It's love, you know? And so this is something that you're discovering how to use here. And look at the lover at the bottom and the womb. You're getting everything that you're wanting here. Then you have the starborn card, so yes. All this stuff is now happening. Everything is unfolding for you now. Now you know how to handle anything, you know? Like these mystic people that are so peaceful, that are so calm. And people behave differently around them than behave in other people because they know how to work out their inner self. So that way when people come to them, they can't even be vibing in another way. You know what I mean? That's like kind of what you have going on here with this bardo. There is strength in, you know, it's kind of like you, you don't force it, you allow. And when you give people a, all of the freedom in the world, you actually have more control than if you're trying to control them. There's something here about this that you're seeing that you're able to use here. 
how to really fight, how to really create in this world, how to really be in this world. So there is something here that you're giving birth to. And this is something that's very successful. It's like, I'm trying to find out more about this person coming in and I can't, it's all about you. <laughs> and I feel like they're gonna just be all about you. And that's something that you're not used to. You're not used to that. You haven't had that before. You have assertion. You always had to assert yourself and be the one. And this person is, is they're going to do that here. And look at how you have the star born and this egg and then this dragon here. So it's like you're giving birth to this dragon here. This could be somebody. This person is fighting the dragon. So this could be somebody who, you know, it, it, like how does this fit together? But it just does. So this could be opposing things, you know, you could be a vegetarian and their family, you know, their family is a family of butchers or something. You know, it's like something along those, it doesn't have to be that, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, we're kind of on opposite teams here, but we respect one another, we support one another and we make it work. It's a, it's a beautiful thing here. You have riches. Something really big is happening here for you. You're making something, you're hatching something, you're unleashing something that is going to bring you a lot of wealth. A lot of wealth. Practicality, fulfillment. Look at this. You're moving into a time where you're going to be fulfilled and where you're going to able, be able to establish yourself in a way where you're established, where you're, you know, you're set and you have a new like level to get used to of what you're able to do here financially. And the, the most important part is the fulfillment. And it's like, that's the reason you're doing it. Enthusiasm. You can't make this crap up. You are discovering more and more. And look at this vision card. I'm telling you, this vision that you have for your life, it's happening. But it's happening even on a grander scale than what you could even imagine, what you could even fathom, what you could even think of. You know, you have this negotiation card. It's like, you know, somebody trying to come at you and you have quarrel, quarrel and lust. Someone trying to come towards you to attack you, you know, they're trying to pull something over on you. And it's kind of like this negotiation card. She is just so balanced that she's a, like, these people came at her, they're calming down. And she's just moving away, engaging in any way with a particular person, it's like you're just going to receive criticism. You know what I mean? It's kind of like be versatile. That is a fortune for you at this time. You're you're coming into a huge fortune here. You know, it's kind of like, you know, these people that are, you know, people that are very secure in who they are. You know, have you ever seen on these shows where famous people, they have them read the the tweets that other people have said about them and it's like really mean stuff and they're just like oh yeah <laughs> and it's like Sofia Vergara and they're like Sofia Vergara looks like diarrhea or something I don't know I can't think of it anything but it's like really really mean and they just like read it out loud and they're like mm, whatever it's like I'm Sofia Vergara you know I don't care <laughs> I don't care what you think of me. <laughs> There's tons of people that like me and I'm very successful and I'm very secure and I love myself and I have a great life. So go ahead. Whatever. That's the kind of energy that you're moving into here at this time. A very, very fortunate energy and other people, you know, they're, they're not there. They're not there. They want to knock you down. Um, not happening not happening wow beautiful okay
So I'm going to pull some letters. This could give you an indication of a person. If you have a particular person on your mind, if your letters don't come out, doesn't mean it's not your message. Okay. Um, yeah. P. A. H. We got an I, we got a D, S, C, and another P, two P's. So, okay, if your letters didn't come out, doesn't mean it's not your message, it just means somebody else needed this message more, okay? Um, it could st if it resonates, then, you know, good for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull an angel number. So if you would like to look up for an added message from your guys. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. That's an angel number. There you go. You can look that up if you would like. Um, I'm going to pull a little quote really quick. Your state of being impacts all that is within you. You decide what this world is. You are a powerful creator. There is nothing you cannot be or do or have. Be the frequency of what it is that you are seeking. And you will seek no longer. You will just show up. There is nothing you have to do. You just stay in alignment. Live in joy and you will feel guided impulses you will get signs you will get clues you will get reassurance from your angels from your ancestors going forward okay so thank you so much leo if you want to like or subscribe i would greatly appreciate it also i have a book it's called one light it's available on amazon and that's all we'll see you next time